Yo, what is up, my packs the gangsters? It's me, Fox Galar PGI. <sighs> Let me just touch my breath here. Today I'm going to be <coughs> drawing pink sheep, but this is not actual drawing. We're doing a speed paint. So this is a pink sheep fan speed paint that that is going to be for Davian Tart once I get it. And so yeah, this is the pink sheep speed paint. Well, you may be asking, this Fox Girl RPG and this is a speed paint. I'm not supposed to be talking in it. Well, I can talk if I want, but most speed painters just like their viewers to just watch, watch without any talking in it. And since I wanted to make this mod interesting, I decided to add myself talking in it. So, that's what I'm doing. So let me just tell you a fact about humans. Did you know humans actually have fur? No, but well, you can see that we have hairs on our arms and legs and all around our bodies. Well, this is actually fur, but it's very, very fine and, you, and it's transparent. The most furry place um, is the face, notably under the nose and on the chin. This fur is actually very, very fine and, well, it feels like fur. Just try feeling under your nose and mouth for some time and you'll find out that you have fur but but our fur is very very thin so it won't provide this much warmth uh, maybe the fur was left over when we were evolving who knows so Um, let's just, let's just have a story time with me. So once upon a time I wanted to feed my pet budgie mango with a spoon so he can pack off the seeds in a different environment because that will be an update. But, but it ended tragically. Mango flew out of the living room. Yes, I was very very super duper hyper ultra worried about him and came upstairs with my dad. He could have had a heart attack, but luckily he was under my bottom bank and very scared. After a few panicky flying, the poor bird finally landed on my dad's hand and then he grabbed him and they went downstairs and my dad said this heartbeat was very, very powerful, like it was coming out of the chest. Luckily he was a young Budriga. If he was an old Budriga he would have had a heart attack. So kids, we've learned a lesson. Never put your Budriga in an unsafe environment at first. Just put him in his cage at first. Then he'll get used to it. And eventually it'll become a happy environment for your little fella. Um, by the way, why I added spots like freckles, pink sheep doesn't have freckles, but I just tried to add a fur effect because pink sheep have like little furs under their walls, but since that fur is so fine like the human, I decided to not add any texture. Yeah. I'm not drawing pink sheep by pedals. It's because he's quadrupedo. This is shown in all of his video. It's even shown in some fan art. But although he can hold some stuff like how is he supposed to go to the computer? And how about would you? Well this image explains holding Mountain Dew. Fun fact, 
I rarely eat Doritos, but I'm so past the gangster. The same goes with Mountain Dew, but even rarer. It's because well, it's not my favorite food, but I'm still a prankster gangster. Pink sheep don't hate me for it. It's okay. We're going to add the ear interiors and the Mountain Dew bottle. Let's connect that M up. Let's color this lid gray. Now let's go on to some gradient shading. You know gradients? Yes, I, I, I only, in my art, I only use gradient shading like they do in Pokemon official artwork. You can do this on one layer, but it, yeah, it looks super effective, despite it's not being very detailed. It, it can make your art look super effective. I recommend trying it out. I don't know what else to say. Maybe I should top stop talking for now. Okay, guess this is part normal speed paint. Guess I'm going to stop talking now. Well, but bye. I only I'll talk. I'll start talking when the outro starts. Okay? So, I need a talking break. Okay, my talking break is over, so that's all from me. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Until next time, goodbye.